double clean is obviously two kettlebells, but <coughs> instead of awkwardly trying to place both kettlebells, it's a nightmare. See if you don't know the clean, it's a nightmare trying to get two kettlebells into this rack position um, and then sort of even getting them down. And you see me sometimes, I sometimes forget and they end up sort of both coming off separately. But what you want is both to be um, cleaned up at the same time and then came down at the same time. So <coughs> this, this whatever your preference is just face the kettlebells in. I I learned in the course actually if you face them in an angle um, and you want to grip the kettlebell um, with the corner closest to you. Okay. Not too hard, this is another thing. Um, I don't want to get too advanced, but the, the actual proper grip on a kettlebell is to use your first finger and your thumb to sort of as a pincer, and that's a very strong link on its own, and you don't need a high grip in the rest of the, the hand because it will actually stra start straining your forearm the more you're tighter you're gripping, so your grip's actually going to fatigue before the rest of your, your body within a particular exercise. And that was one thing I was guilty of, I mean, actually something that even now I find hard to correct is that my grip is too tight and as a result I get calluses and things like that. So um, it really does affect your technique sometimes, not so much in the clean, but more whenever you're going into snatches and things like that. Um, but I'll demonstrate this anyway. Um, so it's the same principle as the single arm basically. Um, you want to stand far enough away so you're stretched outward, arms out in front, getting that pincer um, grip, making sure that you have that corner closest to you, and feeling that stretch in the hamstrings, just lean forward, <coughs> try not to bang them together. Um, so now they're in this position, because they're quite wide, they might Put 
putting that pressure on yourself and you're either standing in front of somebody um, or else a wall. That is one of the, the great techniques for correction. I picked up on the, the kettlebell course that I did and it did make such a difference. Remember that it's not a squat, it is you're, you're using your hamstrings and your posterior chain like you do in swing um, to get to load the kettlebell to get that initial energy up into this position um, as you're coming down. It's not a full swing um, because it's not a full swing because whenever you're if you're allowing the energy to go well back, you're providing too much energy and the likelihood is that the the, the kettlebell will actually travel out too far. So it's only a little bit you need to get it up into that position. So um, remembering that you are allowed to use the, the arm to a certain degree here as well. So you've got that energy too. Um, <coughs> That helps the direction up into the, the right position. So, what I'm doing now is I'm waffling because I think I've forgotten about something. But um, if I have, I will hopefully have covered it in the post, the written part of the post. And for full details of my uh, tutorial, you'll find written pointers and correctional advice there. Basically, I think that's all I need to say. Um, if you have any feedback or any comments or even any suggestions then please leave a comment on my site myomitv.com um, or my youtube channel and I will get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I look forward to hearing your feedback and um, so until next time see you soon.